And I'm just going to quit recording on Mars to see if I can get the balance right between the audio. So I've now got the game audio at minus 11 decibels. And the Yeti mic talking is now at 5. So let's see if that helps. You ever think about that moment use the short range, when humanity uh, first saw the traveler? I don't know, yeah, I think we Must used the, uh, a sight. It's just this bad boy. This is Banshee, offering rewards for whatever can well, be scavenged from our enemies. Spiky, Sending so along some details. Just what we kill is what we kill. You know what, I ain't gonna leave tonight where armor sort of so. I think it's bow. Such a nice weapon, just something I don't think people use enough because that's a lot of charge of time. It's like a fusion rifle but a sniper all in one. If you get good with it, you get good with it. Might try, you know, I might try, might try uh, Prince of Aldous melee on my own later and uh, try recording it using this internal software. Now, guys, if I can't figure this out, what I'll do is I'll just go back to recording separately on my on Garage Band and then altering levels where appropriate. Because there's a good chance this game is still too loud and, and I don't know what to do about it. Right, let's collect you, you little bad boy. Right, let's go find some more. There's always four. Four Cabal down here fighting with the Vex. So. Ooh, there they are, look. And boom. Oh, I'm just gonna aim to take you out. Take you out. Just take you out. So we could just stay here, kill the vet. We could kill these four cabal there. Right, oh, on top of me. Uh, then we could kill these vets. Um, and then just wait and they'll all respawn back to fight each other. Or we can go down to the other place where there's shitloads of cabal like commandos and more yellow guys. Just kick my ass, kick my ass. There we go. We could just kind of. Head down this way. Let's see what's worked out on the sparrow. Vroom, vroom. Let's see what we can do about this. Oh, I've still not ordered No Man's Sky. I don't think I'm going to. That's really bad. It's one of the games that I'd fall most in love with. I just, there's too much else for me to play. Oh, it actually depresses me. Is that, is that geeky as hell? Is that because I've got no wife? I admit it, I've got no wife. <laughs> it's not something I'm denying. I don't. My, my life's been taken away from me by sacrificing everything I had for my education. That didn't pay out either. You know, I sacrificed friends, uh, friendships, girlfriends, lovers, my, my health, my well-being. Um, I've turned down... I t once I turned down a job offer and the, they were offering me... They never met me. I'm just on spec. They were ho offering me 120000 a year. And I turned it down because I wanted to pursue my creative works. So instead of earning 120,000 a year, I gave away 30,000 a year to various people that I knew that needed it, including a girlfriend who I paid rent for. Her mum died suddenly, so she had, she had somewhere to live, but she wanted, didn't want to live in the same house. Her dad had already died when she was younger, so she had no parents. So she lived with me for about a year and I paid like all food, all bills. Then I paid for her own flat for about another year. And helped her get a job, as a, got her a job as teaching at Nottingham and then from that bit of experience I wrote her a reference. So it was, well, the funny thing is the reference I wrote here was essentially, I couldn't really think of anything so I wrote it about me. I wrote about what eye skills I had and they snapped her up. I said, so I've had real problems getting jobs in that in the past. It's a shame as well because anyone that knows me who's seen me teach, you'll know that I'm an unbelievably good teacher. Um, there are, that's why, you know, there are reasons why 16-year-olds come up to afterwards and thank you. I mean, 16-year-old female and males come up to you after a lecture and say that wasn't a brilliant lecture. And it's not just the lower age people, you know, I've had high, higher age people because, you know, I teach, I've taught various levels. Um, 
but I don't know. And the staff knew. We have you know, the the, the, they knew, you know. I wonder what it was. Was I a threat to people? Um, I wonder what it was that just made me never really fit in. I don't think it's just my personality. I was fine with everyone else, it's just when you have a 200 plus IQ, you have a darkness that surrounds you. You have to fight this every day. You are different. As much as I try and suppress it, I am different. People think you're odd, you're weird. So, some fact is, you guys, unless you've got you know a genius level intellect, and uh, I don't just mean Einstein genius, I mean beyond that, that you know you see pathways and deductions and connections everywhere, and you've got a mind that, that drives an over, over a mind that drives an overdrive constantly, which is why you never sleep, why you why you're awake 200, 300 hours at a time, uh, which is why it just destroys everything about you. So yeah, no idea what I was talking about, but I just went on around there. So yeah, just saying I sacrificed everything for uni, it never paid off. Uh, oh yeah, talking about me not having a life, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> like, can't I can't really argue about it. I don't. You know, I've done everything to have a decent career and a decent life, and none. It only worked out for short periods, and then I got ill, one PhD, started, you know, my liver failing, starting to die. Um, it semi healed itself, but you know. It, the damage, damage is coming back. I'm pretty sure the damage is coming back, but it's my own fault, and I, that's fine. And this time round, no hospitals, no treatment. Um, I think I've seen enough of this world. I'll see what's next thing. But anyway, I like one morbid. Sorry, guys, that's a morbid. Uh, but you know, these things in life exist. You know, these things in life do exist. Um, as soon as I fulfil this quest, which I have done. I will I will finish it there guys and I will see what sort of quality this recording was with a minus 11 game and a plus 5 audio so thank you very much I'll put this up just as a sample so thank you very much for watching guys sorry about the sub story um, but if anyone enjoyed any any of my videos so far please feel free to subscribe favorite and give us a thumbs up and a like and thank you very much so cheers